Well, so here we are. It's five days after the race. I'm pretty much fully recovered. I wouldn't go run another marathon right now. But uh, just wanted to cover a couple things that uh, hadn't been covered yet and a little bit of afterthoughts on the marathon. Uh, first off, I did not get a chance to mention compression pants. And I was having, early on, I was having a lot of troubles with, with pain in my hamstrings and in my glutes. And um, one of my friends over at Fleet Feet said, hey, you got to try these compression pants. And shorts is what I started with. And I got the 2XU uh, shorts. And uh, I'm sure, you know, compression is compression. What, what it does is it increases blood flow through the, through the muscles, which helps clear out waste. It also, uh, according to the package, says that it increases the air. It, uh, um, it, it makes more blood vessels flow through the muscle to grow and so forth so that the muscles run a lot more efficiently and I gotta say when I started wearing those uh, compression shorts it was a life changer for me I put on the shorts and my hamstrings and my glutes about the most I ever had after that was just a little bit of pain uh, for a very short time I mean 30 seconds and it'd be better and it wasn't really a pain it was more just discomfort uh, that was up to my half marathon I did last October um, and then after that it started getting cold so I thought well I'm gonna go on and get the pants well it just so happened I also started having some issues with my uh, calves and a little bit with my knees but mainly with my calves and shins and when I started wearing the pants uh, it was great um, I call them my most expensive underwear I've ever bought uh, the pants are like a hundred bucks the shorts are I can't remember I think I paid 60 for them I mean that may be wrong but it's close uh, but they were the best Thing, I, one of the best things at that point that I spent on that helped me survive. Um, after the race on uh, Saturday, I kept my pants on all day. And then I actually changed into the shorts in the evening. I slept in my shorts, the compression shorts, uh, all night, Saturday night, and wore them throughout Sunday. And it really made a big difference. After runs in the past, I have had twitches and... Uh, Charlie horses? Well, not, no, I haven't had any Charlie horses, but, you know, just pains in my muscle and twitches is the biggest thing. But uh, I didn't have any of that this time after 26 miles. Uh, so if you're having trouble, invest at least investigate the compression. I was the compression pants and the compression shorts. I was really, really impressed. Uh, the marathon itself was just indescribable. I wish that I hadn't had the uh, power problems that I did have. Uh, my solar panel developed a little, there was a little uh, connection problem, uh, and Rob Lewis, I'm going to come back with a review on that. They are replacing it. Uh, so they've told me where to send it and everything, and got my RMA number, and uh, they're going to replace my solar panel and power, power back up. Uh, but basically what happened is, I think the solder joint on where the plug is, plugs into the bottom of the solar panel, I think that's what... Um, is faulty and it may be a manufacturer's default whatever they're gonna they're saying they're gonna fix it so we just bought it just a couple months, not even well just over a couple months ago uh, so anyway that's what happened during the race so I did, lost power um, the race was really hard if you want to do a marathon those of you who are runners and you want to do a challenging marathon Catalina marathon is off the hook it is number one it's just gorgeous it is the beautiful island everything out there is just amazing uh, coming around one I remember one curve some of you may remember the old computer game called mist and that little valley that everything took place in and I found that valley on the back side of the island it was just it looked like it was computer generated the mist in the distance the island mountain and even farther off and then just the water for, it was just undescribable in some places uh, it was beyond exciting uh the, the 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 hills let me tell you you want a challenging marathon that thing is challenging it ate my lunch obviously i did it in seven hours 15 minutes and five seconds uh you know you kind of hope oh we're gonna have the uphills yeah i'll make it up on the downhills not on this race the downhills some of the downhills are even worse than the uphills because you're going at such a steep angle that you're just doing everything you can to break and I actually um, did stop at the top of Pump House Hill around 18.6 and uh, they had an aid station there and I ended up stopping for between 20 and 25 minutes I was trying to get my solar working I was also trying to recover because that Pump House Hill is a killer and I ended up meeting my friend Ray 
and we walked a few miles together and then I I went on from there I he was uh, stopping taking pictures and I discovered that every time I stopped it was harder to get my legs moving again so I told him I said if I stop again if this is at mile, after mile 21 if I stop again I'm not sure I'll be able to go again it took me about 30 seconds to get my legs to move again uh, so I just kept walking and running and walking and running the rest of the way came down the mountain came into town seven hours 15 minutes five seconds I'm way down the list I wasn't last but uh, I was not anything I was last in my uh, age group so there you go um, but uh, anyway it's a fantastic experience the island is awesome you gotta spend a couple extra days up there the uh, Catalina Canyon Resort which is where my family stayed at is just fantastic if you want to take family uh, and just have a honeymoon of a weekend uh, outside of course the terrible experience of finishing a marathon um, also Ray stayed at the Hermosa which is a uh, you know he's the bachelor guy they have small rooms they have larger rooms but they have a variety of different things there are no chains of motels out there on the island so you gotta kinda pick what they got uh, but it was really overall it was just one of the most fantastic events that uh, I've been to uh, and I've been to some really good ones. It was just amazing. Uh, after we get done building our Earth Shelter House, uh, I would love to go back with Ray and uh, do that again. And I'm going to take it a lot easier this time. I've done my marathon race. I've uh, done what I wanted to do. I'm ready to enjoy things a lot more. Believe me, I enjoyed it as it was. The scenery, talking to people, it was, it was great. It was just nothing short of great. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed my what I could get out of my broadcasts. Uh, some of the route, the, I, you know, the videos are bouncy, of course, and and uh, that was to be expected. Uh, some of the people I met along the way, David Cook, and uh, there was one uh, gal that she walked with. Uh, well, Carol, of course, who's done every one but one, and uh, there was one gal that actually was from Two Harbors. She was walking along, and I walked with her for a while. And yeah, you, you get to a point where you just finding someone to talk to to keep your sanity I guess is what it is because uh, um, you know the mind starts playing tricks on you after a while and uh, past mile 13 it was getting tough and 18 and on up there it was just uh, uh, it was a challenge it was there was a lot psychologically going on that I'd been told and you just can't prepare for it quite enough because it'll hit you uh, so it, thank you so much everyone for all the posts and the support and the messages and everything. I hope you enjoyed the videos and found it somewhat educational. I hope someone out there finds it inspirational. Uh, again, I'm just a guy. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a runner. Uh, I ran my marathon. I got to get out and build that house out back now. It's We're, we're in the guest house right now. But uh, that is uh, where we're at and uh, we'll hopefully be able to do this again sometime and and uh, do another race somewhere down the road. But for now, it's Bailey Ridge, baileybearridge.com and uh, playinginthyard.com. We'll be building the house and milling wood and pouring cement and doing all kinds of stuff out there. So, again, thank you for all the support from everybody.